Hi, everybody. I'm Peter Travers, and this is Popcorn, where we tell you what is happening at the movies. And there's a movie happening called The Impossible that puts its star, Naomi Watts, in lots of predicaments. Uh, I'm not going to say anymore because Naomi Watts is here. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Hi. Welcome. So this, I would look at this movie, which has a visceral effect, but it also has an emotional effect. I would look at this as not the easiest job you ever took on. Definitely not. not. <laughs> definitely not. Physically, emotionally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely uh, was a big one. It's, a, it's based on a true story. Yeah. Which always, when I see that on a movie, I go, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Based on a true story? Yeah, or no, is it a true is story? Blow by okay. blow, yeah. a true story. story. Everything that she and her, each member of her family went through was all the truth from her perspective. But your character, Maria, who yeah. is she? She's on vacation with her husband yeah. and family. Yeah, in Kaolak in Thailand. Mm -hmm. um, and we shot exactly where, where they were staying. Um, she's an ex doctor, she's got three boys, and they're just having their summer. I mean, a, a vacation from the winter, um, and um, it it took place. The tsunami took place, and then suddenly they're all split apart and trying to find each other. You and McGregor playing uh, your husband. husband, yeah, and this remarkable Tom Holland who plays your uh, yeah. eldest son. I mean, Juan Antonio got incredible performances mm -hmm. from each actor, I think, um, and he did a lot, extensive searching for, for the actors, uh, for the little ones, and mm -hmm. some, two of them had never acted before, the little boys. Mm -hmm. Tom had had the Billy Elliot experience, and he, well, you saw what was on screen, but even off screen, day after day, would blow me away with just this incredible, for lack of a better word, instrument. And he just went to every single place you can imagine. And, and going to those places, though, and I want to ask you about how this was done. I mean, because you, you guys get battered around yeah. by this. I know it wasn't a real tsunami that was happening, but what were you shooting in a tank? What we was going on? We shot in water tanks for six weeks. Five of the, those weeks was the above water, mm -hmm. or tra trying to stay above water. Now, working with water, we know, is difficult. But once you're there, you realize just how difficult it is. And, um, and they, we shot in Alicante in Spain, which is like they have this large water tank. And um, they had it all worked out. We were fixed into these sort of giant flower pots. We would anchor ourselves in. The current is pushing us. Another current is coming against us. We have side pumps and then garbage and debris and all kinds of things being thrown at us. Tom loved it. He thought it was like going to the water park every day. And why am I sensing that it wasn't the same feeling that you were getting? Not so much for yeah. me. Um, well, he's 14 mm -hmm. and he's an athlete and, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's fun for him. But for me, um, yeah, I, I didn't enjoy it. Um, and I also have fear of the water going back to a, a, a bad experience in my teenage years. But I'm, I'm thankful that they made the decision, and actually it was a decision that was made for them because they didn't have the money to do CGI um, and everything was done with models. Um, but I'm thankful because had we have been on a green backdrop, mm -hmm. um, arms flailing about, calling each other's names, we, it would have been a different performance. Um, I did have a, we did have a technical issue with the underwater stuff, which completely freaked me out. And that was, the underwater stuff is always going to be more scary. Um, we would be anchored in, um, have weights on our legs, so we, you know, didn't float to the top. You had your oxygen before you roll, and then they say action and you let it go. Um, and the, the chair starts to spin. And, you, um, and then the camera's going around you. And then when you're fully out of breath, you have to release your belt that's kept you in, and you come to the top. And of course, you know, you want to be a good sport and, oh, yeah. and keep the shot going as long as possible. Um, and in this case, um, I was stretched to my limit, and then I, had, then I wanted to get out, but I couldn't get out. And then, and then the chair actually started spinning the other way. And I'm thinking, oh my God, is the director trying to get extra fear out of me or something? <laughs> extra fear, because <laughs> he's definitely got it. Um, my and, SAG card doesn't doesn't say that there's extra fear. <laughs> specialty. <laughs> that's, what they, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, here's what I do. Um, so, and I came to the top in 
an absolute state, absolutely full of panic and, and rage. <laughs> um, what are you doing to yeah, me? But it turns out it was a technical problem. They, they were trying to shut it off. But That's they, what they all say. <laughs> <laughs> it's a technical problem, but yeah. you know, they did get the extra fear they out did, of you. They did, they yeah. did. You don't take the easy way out a lot. I don't see you in many little tiny movies in which you just sit in a library and discuss <laughs> That you were yeah. reading Chekhov. You, you're doing King Kong and you're working on this massive scale. And yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, um, I'd like to be in one of those movies. Would you? I would. A little Chekhov? A, well, something lighter and slower or easier. I don't know. Even the painted veil, you're just like all over China, you know. And yeah. it's a, it's, it's, it doesn't seem to be easy. The movies always work better. Well, I just think I, I want to be in films that make people think a bit and, mm -hmm. and that stay with them. And I think certainly Mulholland Drive is one to this day, you know, even though it wasn't nominated for an Oscar or anything, people still talk about that film. The scene of the many in that movie that really gets me is your audition scene. Yeah. Which you do with Chad Everett, where we've seen you already work out the lines. And I can't remember yeah. the specific line, but it's, it's like, uh, get out of here or I'll kill you. Yeah, you, exactly, yeah. yeah, exactly that, or something like that. And you have to read it in 40 different variations. And uh, that's why it works so well, because it's set up with that bad mm -hmm. rehearsal with her friend, mm -hmm. and then suddenly there's magic in the I room. I can call um, With bad, bad, bad dialogue. Mm -hmm. um, and it's what, you know, every time you look at a script for the first time, you say, ah, there's my part. That's the whole part right there. Mm -hmm. This is the reason the I'm going to do this movie. And it can just happen all in one scene. And that was that scene. I just, you know, literally was turning the pages and then went, Ooh. <laughs> what is the David Lynch experience like? It's brilliant. You? you just want to, you just lap it up. And I wish I'd had a second one. Um, Oh, I did have well, a second You did have one. a little yeah, of a debt Linden. to pay. <laughs> yes, a, a debt <laughs> Which to pay. Not That's such the way it was. <laughs> yes. I, I had to walk around from. in hot lights with a bunny head and a fur suit on. Um, that it's wasn't every properly. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Yes. Listen, if you owe someone, you pay back. You, <laughs> you definitely do it. But, you know, meeting him, anybody that does, I'm always, I'm, I'm struck by it. He's almost like has a country bo yes. voice. Yes, yeah. And it's... It's so the opposite of what you think he would be like mm -hmm. when you read his material and see his films. You th it's sort of shocking. It's like, how, how is this sort of dark, twisted stuff coming out of that mind? Um, but he's just a joy, that man. I love, love, love him. Did you just finish the Princess Diana? Yes. It was a story that was going to be told and um, I just felt like she, that she was a fascinating woman. I mean, it's, it's delicate because her boys are still around and 